Speaking of girls wanting to have fun, um, I was absolutely, as, as everyone could probably expect, when I learned that you also are a podcaster, I got super excited. I'm like, oh, she gets it. She, well, she'll come on the show, and she understands how to do all this stuff. We're going to have a good conversation, which we ha- have had. It's fun. But I love even more that, that your podcast is called Only Vans, not fans, Vans. And I think that's absolutely hysterical. Tell us about the show. Thanks. Yeah, well, we, we were, you know, one of my tour managers, we were just sitting in the front seat on the way home just chatting, and she was like, man, you really should have this as a, a podcast. And then my next tour manager said the same thing. And then my next tour manager actually has a podcast called Texas Toast, and so he already produces a podcast, and he said, let's do it. And I let him talk me into it, and we did a bunch of episodes before we put any out, just um, – because I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't. But it's it's so fun. I just get my friends, and, and now I have an RV. It's it's, it's over there. It's not, <laughs> and so now it's not a, a van anymore. It's an RV, but it has the front end of a van, so we, it still counts. And we just got picked up by a network, and so our first podcast on the Bluegrass Situation Network comes out next Monday. Nice. Oh, nice. So next so Monday, cool. so by the time this airs, you will probably have had a few episodes because yeah. cool. this is probably going to air later on, you know, in the summer. So yeah. it is still exciting. It's so exciting because it started as, you know, it's just a labor of love and it's out of my pocket and it's just something that I enjoy and it's something different. And um, I live in New Braunfels, Texas, which is, there are so many amazing musicians here. I mean, yeah, so many great names, big names. And so I can just call my friends and they just come sit in my backyard and we just, <laughs> we just chat. And so now to think that we're getting sponsors and we're getting, you know, some eyes on, and ears on it is just really exciting. That's fantastic. It is exciting. And what a fun idea. So that's one exceptional opportunity for you. Has the podcast led before this? Did it lead to any other opportunities for you and your music? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think so. I mean, my first guest was uh, Jarrett Reddick from Bowling for Soup. And I love Bowling for Soup. I had no idea that I would be friends with them. And so we just <laughs> played the big New Year's Eve concert with Bowling for Soup, which aired in like 50 million households. It was like one of the countdowns. It aired in Vegas and Dallas and I don't remember where else. It was wild. But they got to pick their bands and so he picked me so it was kind of neat that we we met and we got to know each other kind of through the podcast and then he's given me these amazing opportunities he's such a nice wow. guy that's super cool and it's it's great I'm, I'm i'm glad the podcast is going well i'm glad it's led to some other opportunities and now that you're with a big network you can put in a good word right that's right i know <laughs> <laughs> well we'll let you know if they kick me off i'm, I'm not <laughs> Uh, I, I look back and there's so many ways to improve and I'm so hard on myself sometimes, but you, you know, the drill, but po- hosting yeah. a podcast is actually kind of difficult. It's, 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 it is chatting with your friends and people say, Oh, we enjoyed it. It's so natural. And da, da, da. it's like, well, in my heart, you know, I'm worried I'm going to mess up or say like too much or say something <laughs> inappropriate. And my mom's listening, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I let go of any reservation about uh, fa- a family or friends listening a long time ago. I'll say anything, embarrass the shit out of everybody and myself. And Great. When when you let go of that, it, it becomes a little bit easier. Okay, perfect. Fine. I'm going to give that a go. 